Hello, it's Sean. Today I'm going to be taking a look at some buildings I received from Iliata Game Studios. It's a Turkish company. They make some laser cut buildings in various scales. These are six millimeter buildings that I've got here. I'm going to be building these for games like Battletech and Epic 40k, and I might be able to use some with the Cold War games as well. They have a variety of buildings. Uh, I got kind of a big pack that he had a sale on. Some of them were uh, not complete, they didn't have roofs, but they're pretty nice buildings and I got a good deal on a big bunch of them. I've bought from him a couple times and I like the look of the buildings, I like how they uh, look on the table. I thought I would walk through them and show you how I build them and paint them. So they come just rubber banded together, you've got the different walls and a roof. What I've done take them apart and you've got these different wall sections and of course they're laser cut so they've got the burn marks on them but it's not too bad I think these are just a uh, matte board is what the material is so they just fit together if you've ever done any laser cut buildings so it's pretty much the standard fare you've got the roof has a little bit of a texture on it on one side and it's smooth on the other so you could kind of do which way you want. I put them together like this. Once I've got it assembled, I take the rubber band and throw it back around it to hold it together so that I can glue it. And that is enough to hold it. Then I take some watered down PVA glue. Uh, I usually use wood glue, but you can use whatever you've got. Uh, take a crappy brush and then dip it in the watered down PVA. And I run a bead along all the seams on the inside of the building. And that works pretty well to hold it together. Next then I go and I prime the buildings. I uh, spray them with the either a primer or a colored paint. Try to use a flat paint if you are using a color because that way you can have a better time painting it. The paint will sometimes beat up on top of a gloss spray paint, so I try to use that matte. And I said, they had a variety of buildings and sizes. Like I said, I got a batch of a bunch of different ones, so these are just a couple of different sizes. They're nice, they all have little doorways, windows are cut out. I'll cover those up as well and you'll see that as you watch. I've spray coated this building with a uh, kind of a burnt red. It's an automotive primer. I like using that for models. It's fairly inexpensive, easy to get, and it covers nicely. Next, I'm gonna paint this up. I think for this building, what I'm gonna do is you can kind of see these lines between the floors. I'm just gonna paint that line with uh, anthracite gray to break up the just the appearance of this building and see how it looks. got the building painted. Next I'm going to add windows. I've got this craft paper from a local craft store. I think I got it at Michael's. It's a nice blue color. I think that makes a nice window. You can have black or silver or whatever color you want. So to cut these, I'm just going to take, and I know I want them to go from the top to the bottom. So I've got my paper and I've got a pencil. I'm just going to set the building on here and make a couple of marks. I'm not going all the way to the top, just to the uh, little ridge lines here, because that will leave me a little bit of leeway inside the wall. I'm going to cut the whole length of this and then trim it down to fit inside. I'm going to do the same thing to get the measurements for the sides. Now 
I got it cut. Make sure it fits in here. And it does. And now I just need to glue it in. I'm going to attach the windows here. I've got some watered down wood glue and a crappy old brush. I'm going to just put in some dabs of the glue all around on the inside. Don't do too much because you don't want it to show when you uh, press down on the, the wood so you don't want it to squeeze out the sides. I have the windows applied all around the building. The last thing I want to do is I don't want a, a blue door, so I'm going to paint that. I'm going to use cold gray. Last thing I'm going to do, I don't like the big door like that, I'm going to do a line down the middle and put a couple doorknobs on it with some black. I've finished painting these buildings. I've done them in a couple of different ways just to kind of see what looks good and what I liked. I like the variety, so I'll probably continue that as I continue to paint up the, the buildings that I have. This one is just painted black and then dry brushed gray. I put in the windows and painted the door. This one was painted kind of a bluish color and I put a wash on it. Uh, same thing with the windows. And then this was just painted primed gray. And then I did the kind of lines on the building and left it as is and I like the look of that as well these will look great on the table they'll add some nice blocking terrain and allow me to uh, just add a little bit of interest to the to any games that I'm playing if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this and the other projects that I work on you can subscribe to my channel be sure to click the bell so that you get notifications when I post new videos. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and there's links to all those in the description. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.